In this video, we are going to assemble the Barra three-stage hand pump. Let's begin by opening the box. We've got the operations manual, the handle. In this little white box, we have our pressure gauge. In the center box, we've got the hose, the rebuild kit, everything that we need to get this assembled. And last but not least, the main body of the pump. So let's begin by just opening the legs. We don't have to assemble those, so that makes this process very easy. We'll unknot the hose, set it to the side. We have our filters, got the rebuild kit, comes with the Allen key that we're going to need for assembly. Comes with some silicone lubricant to keep the pump running. And last, we have a multi-tool. All right, so let's begin by getting the hex key out, as well as the two screws for the handle. So once we've got those laid out, one thing I will point out is the intake of the pump is here. And so when you need to lubricate, just put a drop of oil underneath the pump handle. So we'll push this two screws through, get those lined up with the holes, and then we'll begin to tighten them up. I like to have the pump handle up just a little bit so I can see and make sure that the threads are getting started. And then once they're started, you can go ahead and just torque it down. It doesn't have to be over tightened. All right, once you've got the handle installed, the next thing we'll do is just lay it down. We'll get our pressure gauge out. You'll notice that it's an oil-filled gauge. It is normal to have an air bubble. What you shouldn't see is any leaking oil. At the bottom of this hole, you should verify that there is a rubber seal or a plastic seal. Once you've done that, make sure it's in place. Let's go ahead and just install the gauge. Get it hand tight and then use your tool to take it just a quarter turn just to make sure it's good and tight. The last thing that we have to do is to install the hose again. You'll want to make sure that that little seal is in there and then just get that started by hand. Once you've got it started, make sure you don't whack yourself with the end of the hose. Again, get it hand tight and then use your tool to get it the rest of the way tightened. Again, just about a quarter turn is all that you need. So now the hand pump is fully assembled. To make sure that it is working correctly, you'll want to tighten the bleed screw, just basically finger tight. Inside your kit, you'll have a little brass test head and you'll install that into the end of the fill fitting. Make sure that that clips into place and that it's locked. From here, you can go ahead and hand pump and just watch your pressure gauge. So you'll just pump it up to 3000 PSI. You can go up to 3600 PSI with this pump. And then you'll just let it sit and make sure that it holds air. Once it's passed that test, you can then open up the bleed screw that will let the air out, remove the test plug, and now you're ready to fill your rifle. All right, so let's talk about how to get the most out of your pump. It does have a set of filters. You'll want to change these filters from time to time. Uh, don't let them disintegrate. So if you notice uh, that there's maybe some gunk coming out of there, go ahead and uh, replace your filter. Also, to get the most life that you can in between rebuilds, anytime that you feel the body of the pump starting to get warm uh, to the touch, go ahead and take a time out. Cool yourself down, let the pump cool down, and then resume pumping. You also don't want to jackrabbit the pump. Just go slow strokes, pausing at the top and the bottom of the stroke. And if you do those things, make sure you keep it well lubricated. Your pump will last a very long time.